Oh, so now I'm inside and on the inner frame of it. You know, and then when you look at it, it's a right mess. And it's been half done. But taking it off and finding the previous locks. There's been a few different doors on here and around both ways. This would have been like that. An original, how it was done originally, so 94 years old. And if you can imagine, which I do like this, is who done this, who made this door is made bespokely, you know. They might well have got this profiled edging here, but all this, this was made on site, probably cut to whip, but all bish bash boshed together. And, and the hinges and the lock recesses, you know, it's very rewarding for me, wood and taking it off like I am now and checking that out and then imagining a guy who stood here and maybe done that very quickly, very matter of factly with a skill that is still taught today with carpentry but is rarely used on general stuff, you know, come another time and this doorway would just be ripped out and put in a manufactured simple one and they just come along and fit it and close the door and adjust the hinges and the lock. You know, this was made when things were tangible, just more tangible when you, you worked with wood and you had to know about the grain and the feel of the grain and you were familiar with it. Anyway, so rubbing this down is more than just aesthetic. It is an experience. It is time travel, but that's another story. <laughs>